Welcome to Write Ideas with Susan. Today I'm going to share with you what I do on my very first lesson of every year. And you know what? There might be some ideas here that could be good for your first lesson too. One thing that I've learned over many years of teaching is that if I start into content and curriculum too soon, guess what happens? The kids just shut down. They tune out. And so my first lesson or two is really, has very little curriculum, very little content, but it's all about getting to know them. It's all about that. And we know that if kids don't feel like you care about them, then they're really not going to listen to you down the track, are they? So I've designed a 30-minute lesson that's just really short and sharp. And you might have a lot longer than 30 minutes, and you can pad it out however you want. But I just wanted to take time to get to know the kids. So what I would do at the very first lesson, I'd go into the room, introduce myself. I'd like to write my name on the board if there's a board there. And the other thing that I always do in that first lesson, in every lesson, is I smile a lot. I smile so much. I practice smiling, really. And so basically I say, good morning, kids. I am so glad to be here with you. And then I go, oh, but before we get into our lesson, guess what? I bet you some of you have had a birthday over the summer break. And sure enough, hands go up in the room, and so I, oh, come on up the front. So I get them to come up the front, and I have a birthday bag for them to choose from. And now, if you want to see how I do that, just check out my video clip on the birthday bag. So I start the lesson with something where I'm thinking about them, thinking about their birthday. And then what I like to do after that is I like to write something on the board, and I like to use box letters because box letters really gets kids in. And I've done a whole playlist on that if you want to learn how to do it. So what I do is I write the name of our program in box letters on the board. And I tell them, oh, I've got some magic box letters that I'm going to teach you how to do. And I want you to see what we're going to be talking about today. And so basically, I put the, the initials for the program. And what I'm putting here is um, one of the programs I help with is called KC's Kids Church. You might have different letters or a different name. You might have Kids Club or whatever and do the whole thing in box letters. And I, then I say to the kids, and I look at it, I go, KC's, huh, what do you think we're going to do this year in KC's? And then they begin raising their hand, telling me the sorts of things that they think that we're going to get up to. So I list them all up on the board as they tell me. So you'll come up with a list and you'll go, oh wow, that sounds like a lot of fun. We're going to have fun this year, aren't we? And you know what? I have come up with a lot of those same ideas, but I have put them inside this bag here. Is there anyone out there that would like to come and look in my bag and have an idea of what my ideas of what we're going to do this year is going to happen? So of course everybody wants to come up and look in the bag, and so I get them to one by one pull up the ideas that I've written in my bag. So I put them up and just do a little bit of talk about them, that sort of thing. And I go, oh wow, we came up with same ideas, didn't we? Look at this, we're talking about God, fun. Do you guys like to have fun? <laughs> yes, okay, fun. And yes, you put songs and then I do things that we got the same, talk about Jesus, games, that sort of thing. And, um, but the thing about this is, don't put ideas in your bag if you don't plan on doing them. There are too many people that overpromise and underdeliver. So make sure your ideas are things that you plan on doing. And sometimes you'll get a kid come up with an idea that you've never done before and you'll say, oh, I've never done drama before. Do you think you guys could help me learn how to do that this year? And the kids will be like, yes, we'll help you do drama, <laughs> you know, that sort of thing. So you want to go with a little bit of what their ideas are as well. And then I say, oh, next, you know what we're going to do? We're going to do one of these things. I'd like to teach you a verse from the Bible. It's an ancient, ancient verse. And so what I do is I then teach them Jeremiah 29, 11. And this becomes our verse for the year. And I've done a clip on that, so make sure you check it out. I do it through echoing. So I teach them this verse through echoing. And then the rest of the year, this is actually how we start our lesson every single week. I just start by doing this 
little verse by echoing. For I know, for I know, plans I have, and plans I have. For you, for you, says the Lord. And then it keeps going, and they learn that verse. So that becomes the first activity. And then I say, you know what? There's something else I want to do. I want to do another one of our ideas that we have up here. I want to pray for you guys. Is that okay if I pray for you? And they're like, yes, okay. Could everyone just close their eyes for a second? And I'm just going to say a little prayer. And you just listen while I pray. And so I'll say a little prayer like, thank you, God, for this great class. I feel so welcomed. And thank you for the other teachers and leaders. I ask for your guidance, your blessing, your protection on everyone in this class. I know you have good plans for each and every one of us. Amen. So I just pray a simple prayer. We also include the verse a little bit in that as well. And then I say, oh, there's something else I want to do. Oh, uh, let's see. Oh, I want to play a game. Is that okay? And the kids are like, yeah, it's all right. <laughs> so I said, okay, I need a few people for this game. And then I play the Q5 game. Now, I've done a clip on that, so make sure you check it out. We're using these little boards, and it's a getting to know your game. It's another game idea as well. But if you don't want to do that, I've also put another idea for a game in this lesson plan. And it's basically a little preferences game. And so you have two things, and the kids either have to stand or sit on the topic or idea that they prefer. So let's say, everybody who loves vanilla, I want you to stand up. And if you prefer chocolate, I want you to stay seated. And then you look at the class and go, oh, there's a lot of people who like chocolate, you know. <laughs> or who prefers, um, would rather go swimming, stand up. Who would rather go running? And then you look at that, oh, a lot of swimmers here, or a lot of runners here. Or another one is, so if you'd rather go to school, stay seated. If you'd rather go to the dentist, stand up. <laughs> that sort of thing. So I've got a whole list of things that you can play. So it gets the kids up and down, and you can make comments, and you can also learn a little bit about them just by doing this simple game. So if you don't want to do Q5, you can do this little game. It's in the lesson plan as well. And so then after that, I um, have an info sheet that I give out. And this is really good for me to, to get a class role and kind of get their names. But it also gives me an idea of how some of their likes and dislikes and things about them. And I've done a clip on these sheets, so make sure you check that out and it'll explain how I use these little information sheets at the beginning of the year. So check it out. And after they hand that back in, if there is time, I like to do a song. But if there isn't time, then we finish up. But one of the songs that I like to use at the beginning of the year is a song by Colin Buchanan, 10, 9, 8. And it's great for all ages. All ages enjoy this song. So that, if I have time, I will go ahead and do that. Or I might even just go back and might review the verse that we begin, did at the beginning of the lesson. And then at that point, if we do that, I would just say a simple little prayer. And then I would say a little farewell. I had a lovely time. Thank you for making me feel so welcome. See you guys next week. And that would be it. So there is an idea of how you can do a simple, pretty easy introduction lesson so that you're sharing with the kids that you are interested in them, okay? And you're giving them a little bit of a heads up of what to expect this year in class which is really important because kids, you know, they don't really know, know you when you first turn up. And so it's good for them to get an idea of what you're going to be doing during the year. And my biggest tip here is make sure you don't put too much in your very first lesson or it's, you'll be rushed, okay? That's why there's a bit of flexibility whether you want to do a song, whether you want to do a verse. The other thing that some of you may do as well you might have um, give out an activity book or something that goes with your lessons. I also um, do that. I tend to do it the second week where I give them the book and then they have a name tag that they make or fill out or I have a name tag for them. And I have got a clip on name tags on how you do that as well. So if you have any sort of materials that you give out, you might have time to do that as well in this lesson or just save it for the next week. Anyway, there's a little explanation of how I do a simple introduction lesson because kids don't care how much we know they only care how much we care so if you like this idea can you give it a thumbs up and maybe share the idea with someone else who's doing kids ministry and if you'd like more simple ideas especially for the beginning of the year i have got a whole playlist of beginning of the year ideas that can help you get organized and give you more ideas for your first lessons 
And, um, and if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and subscribe. It's free. <laughs> and you'll just get a notification whenever I put up a new clip. Oh, the other thing. Um, all my lesson plan and some of my posters, all this sort of stuff I'm going to be putting on my website. I've got a website now. And I'm still trying to figure out how to do that downloading thing. But I will get it up there. <laughs> put everything in the description. So check out the description for those links. And hopefully I'll get that up for you soon and work it out. Thanks so much for watching and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye!